So today we are here to discuss about all those questions which are related to IELTS. We'll be discussing one by one the background question, the IELTS cue cards and the follow-up questions. Okay, so it would be like a random session because we are here for practice in a group. Okay, so let's start and I would be starting from a person. So the first set of questions I'm going to ask is from Aryan. Okay, Aryan, where is your hometown? Basically, I'm from a place called Pune, which comes under Marshall Pratil, southern eastern part of India. But I have brought up and born up in Delhi. Okay, do you like your hometown? Frankly, I don't like that much because the basic amenities like hospital, police station and schools are far away. So it becomes really hectic for an individual in terms of emergency. What is your hometown like? My hometown is like an ancient time of a place where basic amenities are not there. And there are few people who least bothered about someone as they are not helping in as they are not having a healthy nature. What is the oldest place in your hometown? It's a small temple. I guess it's around 200 years ago. It was really a very beautiful temple as many individuals and many celebrities just came there for their visit as it looks very good. It looks very beautiful. Okay. So tell me about like uh, what is there for a foreigner, a foreigner to do in your hometown or to see? If he wants to take some breathtaking views, he can just visit my hometown. Apart from that, there are beautiful valleys, wildlife centuries, and best thing about that is that it has a beautiful hill station as well. How could you improve your hometown? By providing some basic amenities only. Apart from such thing, my hometown is quite good. Only the thing which is making it little awkward is uh, the basic amenities which are not available from last 30 to 40 years. Okay, has your hometown changed much since you were a child? No, I guess it's not changed. It was as same as it was earlier. It, is there some good public, public transportation in your hometown? Public transportation, I would say... From, if we're going to talk about the past, yeah, I can say there is a bus facility which is available right now. But apart from that, nothing. Okay, tell me about like uh, what children can do in your hometown. Do you think that it's a good place to bring up children? I don't think so because as we are living in this contemporary world, competition is at on the peak level. So if we want to compete with this entire world, we just need to shift from a place called village just to cities. Because then only we can be well aware about the hectic schedule which an individual faces in his life. Okay, thank you. Now, turning up to Anurag. Anurag, tell me something more about, uh, I would be asking you a few questions related to art. Okay, so tell me something more about art. So, are you good at art? Frankly speaking, I'm not good at art. But actually, when I was a child, I tried to do some drawings and and various things related to art craft but uh, I, was, I wasn't able to do that because I'm not a kind of person who are really interested in these things. So did you learn art at school when you were a child? Yeah, actually my my, my childhood teachers tried to try to teach me art, art and craft because there was a subject called drawing and in computer session also we had to draw in, compu in computer but uh, I wasn't able to do so. What kind of art do you like? Well, there are many kind of arts that I like, but uh, to be particular, I would say drawing in a computer. Because when I was a child, I liked to draw in computer. Uh, apart from the fact, I, I wasn't very well at that. Okay, have you ever been to an art gallery? Well, when I was uh, five years old, we, um, me, uh, I visited Tamil Nadu along with my family, and there was a museum and art and craft gallery. And they, they were just, uh, there were a lot of, lot of red statues of Narendra Modi and, and man, many people, many famous people. So yeah, I visited there. So do you think that uh, children should visit art galleries? They'll learn something? Yeah, they, they, they must visit art, art gallery. They, they must see the various things in, in there because there are a lot of things to see, to explore. <coughs> uh, and we don't know if, uh, if our children, if we, he is going there and he will be developing any interest in that art so he okay thank you switching over to mr bhavar singh now mr bhavar singh now tell me are clothes very important to you yes it is it is very important to me and uh, i like uh, different type of the clothes okay. like, uh, i like to use a different kind 
kind of thing. Ghana is the and it should be suited on my body. Okay, why type what type of clothes do you usually wear? Generally, what type of clothes do you wear? It's a uh, standing by time to time. Okay. Before I used like jeans so much, okay. like t-shirts, rough and tough. Uh, okay. Clothes. But now nowadays I'm change. I I use I like a more uh, formal uh, dress up, which is looks uh, nice. Uh, okay. Uh, where do you buy your clothes from? <clears throat> it is very different. Uh, it is different like uh, where I'm going. It's if I'm going to uh, uh, parties or, or marries or I'm attending uh, special functions, then I'm going to buy uh, a brand. Or if I'm going to just uh, casual use, then I will uh, buy my comfortable clothes, which is not need to brand. It's making me Okay, have you worn any uh, uniform also? Yes. In past? Okay, tell me about that. Any uniform which you have worn in past? During school days? Uniform? One is a yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, in the, in the school, we have we have to wear the school uniforms. Okay. This is uh, called like a blue and khaki those colors. Okay. Do you ever wear the traditional clothes of your country? Yes, I do. In my uh, childhood and uh, even I work in my my profession, I wear many times to show people. Okay. Thank you.